Hello, I'm Claire Petra Wallace, and this video is all about Asia Maynard. Now, Asia Maynard was a 29 year old woman out of Kansas City, Missouri. On the February the 19th of 2022, she was reported deceased at someone named Isaiah James House. Well, Isaiah James Crown. Excuse me. And the police came and picked her up at 8 a.m. So, spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors gather around because tonight we are going to Kansas City. Now, I want to be in Kansas City. She was reported. She was reported deceased on February the 19th at 8 a.m. in the morning. So, let's go 24 hours in the past. Let's go to February the evening of February the 18th. The day before, the night before. So, I want to go to February the 18th at around 9.20 p.m. And I want to be in 8200 block of East 57th Street. Ooh. Now, when too many come out, I take the top one and the bottom one. And if they fall to the floor, I only take the ones that fall face down. And I like to get four cards to get started. And so far, we've got two. Let's try to get two from here. Now, back to where I want everybody to be. We want to be in the 8200 block of East 57th Street. The zip code is 64129. And we are in Kansas City, Missouri. We are at someone's house who is known as Isaiah Crown. And we are looking for Asia Maynard's energy. She's 29 years old. And she's in the 8200 block of East 57th Street. Oh, all right. There go our four. 57th Street on February the 18th at 9.20 p.m. All right. Ooh. All right, so the first card up is from the Hermetic Tarot. Get my pointer. And it is the Two of Pentacles. Just gonna get a good look at this here. Now, this. It's a several things. There's several ways I can read this card here. But first, notably, is these two round objects. You know, out of my mind, just looking at it, I'm thinking like, um, I thought it was like a um a box fan or even a hubcap maybe, but no. What they're showing me here is you see how there's like light spots and dark spots and light spots and dark spots. You ever like try to make a cake or a cornbread or something, you're stirring it up, but um, if you don't stir it up all the way, there's pockets in it that's just still just powder that has never been touched by egg or um, anything like that. There was um, a, a drug, I hate to say, there was some sort of drug involved that wasn't um, fully mixed properly to where some of it was stronger than others. Like some spots is probably like just all black to where it's just all drug and some spots is probably all white just all cut but it was no way to really measure this drug or whatever it is we're gonna clarify it but that's surprising because i really thought it was a box fan but no it's an uneven mixed pill all right thank you spirit for that that's pretty good all right next we have the princess of pinnacles And this card here, it's there um, focusing on the way she's holding over her breast like that. Like, I don't know if it's somebody like taking funny pictures, touching her breast, or if it's somebody um, pressing down on her breast maybe, but something about the hand to the chest. Of course, you know, I'm a clarifier. All 
right? And the next card is the Seven of Swords, which usually means somebody doing something sneaky. Hmm. Out of all the people, there's like, there's, it says the Seven of Swords, but there's five people in this room. Like three in the sleeping bag and one creeping out doing, you know, while the other ones are asleep but unaware. And this one, the one guy in this sleeping bag, this one right here, he only has one shoe. The other, um, yeah, the other guy has both of his shoes, but this one only has one. I wonder if the guy took his shoe, the one who's sneaking out. Okay, now they taking, he's taking, you know, he's taking this person's belongings away. All right. So we got a guy sneaking around and somebody with one shoe. And lastly is the Ten of Swords. I'm getting like, you see the way like this blood is drained out of the arms right here like this? I'm getting like a vision in my head of somebody whose blood pressure is so low they can't hold their arm up. Like they can barely move because their blood pressure is so low. So very, very, very low blood pre pressure due to blood loss. Because I've had low blood pressure before. And when I go to the doctor, he's always asking me, do I feel faint? And I was like, no, I don't feel faint. But that's what telling me, somebody whose blood pressure was very low. All right. So let's go back and let's clarify. Let's start with this pill and see if we can't get the answers of where it came from. All right. To do that, we're going to start out with the spider deck. All right, spirit. So once again, we are in the 8200 block of East. 57th Street in the zip code is 64129. It is 9.20 p.m. on February the 18th. Asia is among friends or associates, one known as Isaiah Crown. And there is a pill here that's unevenly mixed or is somehow um, defected in a way. Can you tell me where the pill came from? Is this something that... Asia had or is it something that she purchased while she was there where did this pill come from where did the uneven mixed pill come from oh two come up all right we got changeable future and travel problems now, the changeable future is like a tower card where everything falls apart. You know, he kind of sailed into trouble. There's no getting out of it. And the travel problems is someone who's um who's just like not going to kind of get to where they want to go in life. Kind of like a burnout. I know we all heard of those friends who kind of just, you know, sit around doing nothing in their um grandma's basement or whatever. But um they're just typically burnouts. So... We have a burnout that was having a very hard go at it. Apparently, even a rock bottom gets rocky. But you know what I noticed about these two cards? There's no women in these cards. And I asked about who brought the pill. And age is a woman. So this was not her pill. She may have purchased it from this man but she didn't bring it there she acquired it there on the 8200 black or brought it from a man somewhere else but it was not like something that was hers and this person was already this pure burnout person
is, you know, going nowhere fast. Let's see exactly what's, if there's anything left else on these cards. Hmm. I'm going to clarify it. I want to know more about this burnout person. All right. Yeah, he stay right there. All right, let's get the um the movie tarot, just the just the space, just the people cards. All right, spirit, thank you for showing me that this burnout person. I'm sorry, so I hate to keep saying them, say calling them the burnout person, but you know, one spirit attaches a name to you, you have to continue to call it that name, call them that name, or they get confused. So. When dealing with this burnout person, can you tell me more about them? What would they look like? Where would they come from? What can you tell me about this burnout man? Oh. See what it is. The magician. This is Russell Crowe in that movie where he goes up there and, you know, they all try to get the garden started and they couldn't get the garden started and a lot of them died and they left and they came back. He had got the garden started. I don't know what the guy looks like, the Isaiah guy. But this is a, the best description of the burnout. All right, let's move on because I get stuck on analyzing this burnout person. That can go on for days. All right, let's move on to the breast card. All right, and to do that, let's go to the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. Get this on back. All right, Spirit. Now, are you showing me Asia's chest area, her breast, without a shirt on? Just skin-on-skin skin contact. Is this someone... Um, trying to resuscitate her or is this her touching herself what can you tell me about this hand on breast card and we're wanting to know you can now move on let's move on from 9 20 p.m just start to um, go through the evening as normal so around now we should be around let, let it be 11 30 now now it's 11 30 p.m on february the 18th of 2022 in 8200 black of east 57th street the zip code is 64129 Ooh. all right that's too many so we're gonna take the top one and the bottom one all right so we have a hanged man and the six of presents. On this hangman card here, to Santa Claus. That's such an awkward position that they have him in. Usually the hangman is upside down. In fact, the hangman is always upside down. And this rope is snapped. Or just about to snap. I had to put the light down on it. I think someone tried to resuscitate her at the very end, like when, you know, when you get to the point where you're hanging on by a thread. Just the fact that he's not upside down, he's supposed to be. But instead he's both arms above the head and both feet down with shoes off. And the six of um, presents card is the um, giving and receiving. 
you know, like when you um when you're giving somebody CPR and you're breathing in your mouth and breathing in their mouth and um pumping on their chest at the same time, trying to get them to um to, you know to receive the air and take it in and start breathing and giving it back. I want to know who tried to resuscitate her. And that what part of it did this resuscitation happen? Because we're only supposed to be around 1130, 1130 ish. Now, it could be between 1130 and 3, I hear. But we're well into the evening now. And it's interesting that this resuscitation card comes up right before the sneak away card. So let's see if we can get who tried to resuscitate her. All right, and do that. Let's go. To the tarot land. All right, spirit. Once again, we are still in the 8200 block of the East 57th Street. And let's just move away from the time to where we're not into the 20th yet but if the police is called at 8 a.m and it's past 11 30 p.m i want to be from the hours of midnight to 8 a.m let's concentrate on those hours between midnight and 8 a.m and that's midnight on the 18th on until 8 a.m on the 19th just so everybody's clear all right all right and let come out. Yeah, I think we didn't hit pay dirt now. Maybe the three of swords is the heartbreak card. So we're on the right track. This is when it happens. Between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. All right, Spirit, can you tell me who tried to resuscitate her while in the 8200 block of East 57th Street? Can you tell me who tried to um, maybe get her some help or massage her chest and breathe in her mouth? Who was trying to bring her back? Oh, I see it. All right. So, this one here is the Nine of Wands, which is somebody defending their territory. Or, you know, somebody be like, you got to get past me. He's taking ownership of all of that land. He's defending it. You know, this is his territory. So my money would be on the owner of the house. Or who or the um person who's written the house. Get a good look at him. This is a very crafty person. First, he was a magician making stuff happen. Now, we got a person defending their space, almost like the stand your ground weird area. All right. So, we're moving along. Let's get to the Seven of Swords, the person who took the belongings, possibly the other shoe. We do that. We're going to go back to the spider deck. Let me get a sip the drink. All right. Spirit, as we're going through it, after Asia has died, there comes a point to where her belongings kind of get shuffled and go missing. And we see someone sneaking away here after she's already laying down and on her side. There's someone sneaking out of the door. Can you tell me who took her belongings or what happened to them, where they are now? What happened to the belongings that came out of the door between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m.? In the 641-29 zip code, 8200 block. Oh. All right. Hmm. This is interesting. This 
this is interesting. All right, when I this is the card say good marriage, but then I had like really started to look at it, and this one is clearly a woman, but this person here is kind of androgynous, and it's like I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But I think the person who took the belongings away was a female. Or maybe she has them and doesn't realize she has them or something. So I think like her car keys and her um phone and her coat was missing. And I asked who took them away in this card. I'm going um, to shuffle some more. To see who this androgynous person is. Or they could even just be a bisexual person too. They don't have to necessarily be androgynous. Or a girl. Spirit, tell me more about this androgynous looking character. That snuck away with Asia's belongings. What can you tell me about them? No, not in here. All right. Let's see. Skip over here to the Beauty of Horror deck. I think this is a first for me. I've never seen an androgynous character come up in one of my readings before. I'm kind of intrigued. Tell me more about this androgynous character that may be in cahoots with the burnout that ended up with Asia's belongings. What can you tell me about this person? They took them between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m. No. Well, now I just have to know. Back to the Hermetic Tarot. You know, actually, I know which deck that it is surely be in because this deck has a whole bunch of images. The Erotic Tarot. All right. You could have just asked for this deck the first time, you see. Spirit, tell me about this androgynous person that has Asia's belongings. And these belongings were taken away from her between 12 and 8 a.m. on February the 19th. And they possibly still have possibly still have control over them now. Right, so that's one. Oh, there's two. All right. Now, I recently had this card the other day, and I had to look it up to see what it meant because I didn't have it. Um, I haven't never really pulled it too many times, but it means unreachable. Like this person is like, um, you know, they're gone. You can't get them. And it's a woman. And the other card, again, is another woman. And this is the Knight of Earth. And this deck, it means responsible. See, she's stopping to fix that gate. So, you know, you know, even after her and the horse passes by, it's fixed. So, this could be somebody um trying to help clean up a mess. Trying to fix things up. Not her kind of out of the picture. They're unreachable. So it was, it was a female that's in control of the items now. All right, let's go to the 
low blood pressure card. This one. I'm sorry. Every time I move the table, the chair moves, the, um, the camera moves. All right. So this, in my mind, would be the event that causes um, her death. And we're going to see. So let's start out with the Omega Land deck. All right, Spirit. Now, Asia has um, begun to pass away now. Her blood pressure is very low. Can you tell me what happened right before the blood pressure became very low? Or what happened to cause her blood pressure to become very low? All right. The Six of Cups. This is, you know, like kids playing. But all of them are, um, all of them are drinking. One is actively drinking, but the female in this um, card is actually kind of chasing after this guy. So I don't know if she was, um, maybe had got up and had started to um, walk, as some people say, walk across the room towards him and ask him a question. And then, you know, things took a turn. But right before her blood pressure got low, there was a bit of a chase here. No. No, I got to ask about this chasing, of course. Yeah. All right, and do that. We're going to go back to the spider deck again. Can you, ask, can you tell me what was this chasing about? Why was she um, confronting a man or going after the man? What's this chasing? Or why was she pursuing or questioning him? What can you tell me about the chasing? Dang, it keeps coming in my hand. All right. This is kind of sad. The chasing card is her, um, you know how you decide that you have things to live for and it's, you know, you got to, um, you have kids and, you know, you want to live for your kids. This is kind of like her, um, I guess in the end being like, I can't, um, I can't die or I can't go because I have kids. See, you know, you, you chase All right, we're going to leave it there. Again, I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.